reckon you're so up? Oh, no, no, what about Robinson Blake? Like, 17 years, yeah? 17 years for a 10 year old? Yeah, Robinson Blake, like, 17 years for a 10 year old? How's it going, man? <laughs> Working your magic, man. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Fundamentally, I just disagree with the fact that they're sort of racist, hiding behind some pretense of having a legitimate cause to be against uh, the extremes of Islam. The extremes that we're, you know, we're all uh, not particularly... Uh, uh, happy about. Oh, that's what they want to paint, that's what they want to paint everything. They want to paint everything out of it. It's not against Muslims at all. It's not against Muslims, it's not a black and white thing, it's not a brown, whatever you want to say. It's not a racism thing. It's against Islam, extremism, and also it's against that Tommy Robinson has been uh, vilified because he sees a political thing. Tommy Robinson is silenced because he tells the unconcealed truth about the failure of multiculturalism. He is persecuted because he drew attention to Muslim grooming camps and rape squads. He is locked up because he speaks up about the true nature of Islam. I don't understand why anti far are protesting against us. All he does, it's a political thing, yes. He's done something wrong, he's done something wrong uh, technically, but the amount of time he's got, it's ridiculous. What is it? The rapist got about two and a half years, he got 13 months, it's ridiculous. Today, the racists said they were going to march in York. They said they were marching for the freedom of Tommy Robinson, a guy that was convicted for breaking the law. And this is a guy that talks about other people, if they don't like our laws, they should leave. Well, I'd love to see Tommy Robinson exactly where he should be today, behind bars or where on the street celebrating. Yeah. Refugees are welcome here. Yeah, Lord, say it clear. Refugees are welcome here. If they can march confidently in London, it will give all those racists in those smaller areas, in those other cities, confidence to do damage, real damage, racial hatred, burning mosques, attacking gurdwaras, and um, pulling hijabs off women, driving onto pavements to, you know, to charge into Muslims as they come out of mosques. This is what this lot thrive on, and we have to be here to resist that. Because when they marched in Leeds a couple of weeks ago, only two days later we heard the news that actually a Sikh temple and a mosque could be firebombed. This is what happens when these racists take to our streets. They give confidence to others to join their cause. And that's why we're out today. Every time they march, we stand in defiance against them. I, I just think, think they need to have a little look at themselves and realise what, what, what they're actually doing. But sometimes when you, uh, when you pick on something and say, this is wrong, it's not racist. It might be right, you know? If you've got a group of... Ex uh, if you've got a group of uh, Muslims who are grooming uh, girls in Bradford and then you've got to uh, like, expose them, it's not racist to do that. I would do the same if it was white people or it's brown people or it's black people. It's, it's not racist, it's just trying to get people who are doing something wrong. History will judge him as being on the right side of a struggle between good and evil. Tommy Robinson is an incredibly brave man who embarked on a heroic mission. Tommy stood up to expose the worst scandal in the history of England. The widespread, organised, paedophile rape of little girls by organised gangs. We know that this is about racism and it's about dividing us.
Stasi Eastern Bloc type of attitude, right? This is the way they behaved behind the Berlin Wall before it was struck down. Of course, of course, it's defending free speech. Of course, everything's defending free speech. This is our country, and this this is what free speech is. We know what freedom of speech means for the people in Beeston, near Leeds, who had their mosque attacked, an arson attack. The Sikh community of Beeston that suffered an arson attack. I don't think there's any evidence of that at all. And I don't think there's any evidence. All these racists are well, not racist against, all these against Islamist extremism. And if you're not against Islamist extremism, then I think you're crazy. No one's against Islam. No one's against Christians. No one's against anything. But Islamist extremism? Of course you're against that. Is that is that wrong? No, no, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother talking to him because he's on that side. So I don't even bother. I don't even speak to him. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Well. No, no, you don't. No, no, you all are. You're all on that side. I don't think. Fantastic day. Absolutely I'm... brilliant. Yeah. Young and old, black and white. Jew and Muslim, Irish, every nationality, united against Trump's racism. It must be the biggest daytime protest in Britain, at least, since the protests against George Bush's visit. He's a stand-up comedian, I tell you. Trump, I don't know how the hell he has made the president. Well, this morning, Donald Trump gave a clear signal to the far right and the fascist hardcore by attacking our London Mayor, Sadiq Khan, who is, for them, an absolute hate figure, and he knows it. And he blamed Sadiq Khan for terrorism, for immigration across Europe. None of this has any logic or sense. It's not meant to. It's about fueling the far right and the fascist hardcore and mobilizing a narrative of hate and violence. It's extremely dangerous, which is why we need as many people who are here today out tomorrow against the far right and fascist supporters of Tommy Robinson. protest against uh, the fascist uh, demonstration in support of Tommy Robinson and uh, yeah, we're coming out to, to show our opposition towards him and his followers, his followers also supporting Trump, uh, something that we are opposed to and support Trump and uh, yeah, so we're just here to make our presence felt so that uh, people can be aware that fascism isn't going to sneak in via the back door or actually this one is actually kicking the front door in. No, this is happening right across Europe. We're seeing UKIP, the parliamentary far right, the street neo-Nazis get together and they want to replicate what their uh, far right and fascist friends in Europe have begun to do. We've got to make a stand. They've got no place in politics in Britain. They've got no place in our society. And we need to make sure we mobilise and deny the streets to them. It's very important and I'm a bit disappointed that there aren't more people. There were so many people yesterday, so I think it would be better if there were more people here today. Well, we're both anti-fascists. We think there's, there's a real danger that the right is uh, on the rise here in England and across Europe and people need to stand up against it. It's, uh, it's a threat to all of us. I'm appalled by the rise of fascism all over Europe and the EDL um, feeling it's okay to demonstrate in London today. I oppose everything they believe in.